In this video, we're going to take a look at how you might use a piece of roster art from Photoshop or where, whatever program you have inside of Flash and why you would use that. So the first problem is getting that particular piece of um, graphic into your, your stage here. So I'm going to go up to File, Import, Import to Stage. Now you can put it in the library if you choose, but I just want to put mine directly on the stage. Either one works just fine. So I've got a little photo of my baby when he was six months old, so I'm going to torture you guys with my baby. <laughs> oh. So let's take a look at one of, one of the really cool things that Flash can do. Much like an illustrator, Flash has the ability to trace the outlines, to trace the colors inside of your photo and come up with an, with an original vector piece of art for you. So with my photo still selected, I'm going to go up to Modify, Bitmap, because remember, roster graphics really are bitmaps, and go down to Trace the Bitmap. I'm going to leave my color threshold set at 100, my minimum area set to uh, 8 pixels, the threshold at normal. Now the curve fit, I wanted that to be a little nicer, so I chose very smooth instead of the normal. But you can play around with the settings and just see what works the best for you. I'm going to click OK and let Flash work its magic. So let's take a look at this product here. So you can see that it has transferred all the different color areas into vector art that is selectable. You could change it, you could morph it, you could do whatever you choose, whatever you choose to do. So this is one way that you can use a roster graphic inside of, inside of Photoshop. Now a word to the wise, roster graphics are very, very large files compared to vector graphics. Use roster graphics very sparingly. Otherwise, you may have a file that's much larger than what you intend, and on the web, large files equal long download times. So keep that in mind, and I hope you enjoy playing with tracing your graphics.